guys, my name is Tommy, um, I'm from Couch Down in Sturchley. Today we're going to just go through uh, how to make a really simple espresso martini at home and make it nice and delicious, okay? So the, the, the sort of basic things is just have good quality ingredients, all right? So this drink's really easy because it's equal parts. So we take 35 ml of coffee, it can be granulated coffee if you've got an espresso machine at home, it can be any coffee, it works with Nescafe and it works with, you know, fancy coffee too. So we just pop that straight in. We then go into our coffee liqueur. We use an Australian coffee liqueur called Mr. Black's. Um, you can get this in specialist retail shops, specialist booze retail shops. Um, it's not as sweet and it's got more of a, a bitter coffee flavor um, so that the overall cocktail doesn't end up too sweet at the end. So we should put equal parts of this in. So this one's 35 mil as well. And then the star of the show is the vodka. <clears throat> so we're using Kettle One. Uh, this is a Dutch vodka from Schiedam. Um, like I said before, it is always best to use the best quality ingredients. You know, similar to cooking, if you use the best quality ingredients in cooking, you'll have um, a delicious meal. It's the same with cocktails. So we're using Kettle One, which is using 35 mil, straight into the jigger, into the tins, Fill it full of ice all the way. Ice is nice, the more ice the better. And then we just give it a nice hard shake for about, I don't know, 20, 25 seconds. Should be nice and cold, just like this, if you've got metal tins. Then when you look inside, it'll be nice and foamy. And the best thing to do is du double strain it. If you only have this strainer, that's fine. And there we have a beautiful espresso martini.